beautiful day. I was coughing all night last night, didn't get any sleep. I'm heading to the studio now. The reason I was coughing is because we had a fire in this town, not even, not even a half mile from my house. And uh, it was a motel, a local motel my daughter used to work at uh, here in Ennis. And it's the Sportsman's Lodge, for anybody that's been here to look at my video. But anyway, this is uh, the Sportsman right there. I'm gonna pull over and stop. And as you can see, the uh, building burned down. How sad to see that. Wow, still smoking too. Unbelievable. Well, it looks like nobody was, none of the cabins were harmed, which is amazing. Well, anyway, heading to the studio, I just wanted to, to show you all what uh, happened last night here. I don't know what the particulars are of the story of how it got on fire, but uh, really sad. All right, today's uh, video is going to be of me working on this dog and uh, doing the face. I uh, had a couple of visitors come in and spend some time here, so I couldn't do a lot of talking and. They came in just as I was starting, so I, I couldn't actually uh, explain what I was going to do today, but uh, this way people can get the feeling of me working, you know, like they're working on it. Yeah. Yeah, I watched a couple of your videos, and I was, I was always impressed. <laughs> mm. But, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, they're flying me down to Grapevine, Texas, which is just northwest of uh, Dallas, I guess. Oh, yeah? And, uh, and I yeah. just got to... Doesn't pay bad. <laughs> Where's the other one at? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's Arizona, Fe uh, near Phoenix or around there. Dang, that's sweet. Anything to get me out of the cold air. I know, right? <laughs> Golly. This winter hasn't been that bad, though. No, it's been pretty good. Oh, it's just a Crow Indian. Just generic? About 1870. Huh. And uh, this breed is the oldest breed in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, came across the Bering Straits thousands of years ago. No way? Yeah. And uh, so they weren't, I don't think they were originally called Carolina dogs, but that's uh, what they are now. Hmm. And see, they're related to these dogs over in Australia. That's why I'm yeah. working off of this one here. Are you making this for anyone in specific, or just? Uh... Nah, just doing it. Got a 
keep my inventory stocked up. Stocked up, and I need to show some variety. I did that piece two years ago. Really? And uh, it, it just didn't sing to me. But uh, this is starting to sing. Get a dog on there too? Yeah. I like that. See why you need to take cheekbone? scary thing about doing this is you don't know if you're getting the confirmation correct, but then again, most of the dogs in an Indian camp would have been mutts anyway. I wonder if they can hear my stomach growling on the camera. <laughs> Well, it's looking like a dog's head. I would have to agree.
Oh, let's put it on the uh, sculpture itself and let you see what it looks like. Now, see, I put this piece of clay down as a kind of a spacer, and uh, I cut it off right at the base so that I know right exactly where to put my base. And it's flush with the uh, base so that uh, I get the dog in the same position every time. Yeah, there we go. And uh, it's starting to look good. I'm really liking uh, the dog's head. It took uh, a little while to get that. I still got to do a little detail work here on his cheek. Got his tail to do yet, but I usually do those things last. And I need to build up the clay around his feet. And I'll get that. I think what I'm going to have to do is take out the screws and lower his feet because his feet are well above the uh, the ground level of this guy. Let's see, wait a minute. That'll be it uh, for tonight. And uh, I'm kind of happy the way it's turning out. Um, I hope I'm not screwing it up too much. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Good night. I'll tell you, I'm proud of our NS Fire Department keeping this to just that one building and not letting it uh, expand to all those cabins around. All right, well, I'm going to head home before I run over this hose. All right, good night.